Hello, Les from Thailand, retired and living the dream. Have I got some bad news today for pensioners who retired in Thailand? It's not good news, I'm afraid to say, but like everything else, there is workarounds to every situation. And the information I'm going to give you today is a workaround as what you can do with regard to pension and receiving your pension, state pension payments from the UK. This affects the people from the UK, not America or Australia. This is just for people with the UK. But also I would say to the Americans, Australians, Europeans, check your situation. Check before it gets too late. Check out what you can get and what you can't get. I was sort of shocked today when I did my inquiries with regard to the pensions and what I can get and what I can't get and this video is going to go through that. So first of all I'm four years away from getting my state pension from the UK and talking to various people and doing a little bits of research looked into the fact that because I live in Thailand my pension could be frozen. In fact my pension will be frozen at whatever rate it gets paid at. So in four years time, wherever the rate is, then it's gonna get frozen. So why does this information bother people now who are already retired? Because those people are already retired in Thailand. If their pension gets frozen, with inflation going up, the likelihood your pensions are gonna rise between seven and 10% next year, and maybe it's four or 5% the year after. So in the space of the next two years, by living in Thailand and having your pensions frozen, you could be out about 12 to 15% rise in your pension. So therefore, what's the answer to it? And I actually phoned up the pensions department 30 minutes on hold to talk to a guy, or sort of talk to the horse's mouth, so I got it rather than hearing it off other expats, oh, you do this, you do that, you do the other. I phoned up the tax department and I found out some information. And I've got to say, the information's not good, but if you're aware of it, then there's things you can do about it. So first of all, because we're living in Thailand, there's no reciprocal agreement with the UK, so your pension gets frozen. And the only time you'll get the increase is if you live in a country that's got a reciprocal agreement with the UK. Then you get your rise automatically. Now, Thailand hasn't got a reciprocal agreement with the UK, so therefore your pension is frozen. So to get your pension increase, you have to live in the UK for 185 days of the year to be able to claim your pension increase. Now everybody living here who wants to go back to the UK for 185 days to get your pension increase. So there's a sneaky little way around about this. You know me, I always have workarounds for visas and retiring and getting things done. All legal, everything that I do is always legal but there's always a workaround. And I've got a bit of a workaround. It's not perfect, but it's better than going back to England for 185 days to be able to claim the increase. So I'll give a little bit more information towards the end of the video for this. But the second bombshell for those people who are, are retired, anybody that's married a Thai girl after 2016 if they pass, pass away, their state pension does not go to their Thai wives at all. And that's any wives with regard to anywhere in the world. And you're claiming your pension after 2016, your state pension doesn't get paid to your better half. So therefore, if you, have, if you think you've made provisions for your wife when you pass or curl your toes up, have another look at it. Now, I'm always prepared. I've always looked into the future and I've always made preparations and plans. Now if I curl my toes up, nearly all the information is already pre-written out for insurances, for my private pension that my wife is gonna get when I curl my toes up. It's all 90% filled out, so it just needs the dates and the I's dotting and the T's crossing. Now I've made preparations for this. Now you'd be surprised at how many people, how many retirees haven't made any plans because let's face it, we all think we're invincible and we're gonna live forever. But the answer is, no we're not. We're all gonna curl our toes up one day, so make the preparations and planning. Think about it now. This is what this video is for, is to put that little thought in your mind and doing something about it. 
Now there's actually two Thai ladies that I know thought they were going to get a pension from their husbands when they curled their toes up and they've been left with nothing. They had no insurance. They, their husbands thought that they were going to get their retirement pensions, both from the UK and no, they get absolutely nothing. So they've been with them for a number of years and now in their later lives, they get nothing. So what's my little workaround everybody's asking? Now, it's not a perfect solution, but I think it's far, far better than going back to the UK for 185 days a year to get your pension increase. Now, let's face it, if, if the increase as it has been to 2.5%, you can wait two or three years, or even you're not really gonna miss two or three percent. But at the minute, when it's eight and nine, and maybe it's more percent, that's a big rise in your pension. And if you miss that for two or three years, it's gonna hurt. So, my solution, my workaround, and it's not a bad workaround, because you still live in a better country than the UK. Now, if you look at the UK pensions department, you can find all the countries that are reciprocal with the UK. Now, I live in Thailand, so I'm going to pick a country that is close to Thailand. And the country where you get your pension rises, doesn't matter that you live there full time, is the Philippines. The, yeah, the Philippines. There are so many videos going on now about the pros and cons of living in Thailand or living in the Philippines. And I've got to say, this is a big tick for those who are actually retired and living in the Philippines. You are going to get your pension rise every year, no problem whatsoever. But in Thailand, you're not. So maybe my answer is, after maybe a couple of years or so, go and live six months in the Philippines. Go and do two, three month sessions in the Philippines. And by living 185 days in the Philippines, you can claim your pension increase. It's a workaround. It's not a perfect solution. But I'd sooner live in the Philippines for 185 days of the year than live in the UK for 185 days of the year to get the same amount of money. And the Philippines is far, far better and cheaper and more sociable, just a beautiful place, than the UK. So if you like this workaround and solution and you think that the information was good, please leave a comment down below. I read and try to answer every single one of them. So from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand, until the next video, bye for now.